All right, on to video number five. Now, this one will be our last one, with tangents anyway. I'll do one more just to cover that other thing, because, yeah, I did say this was all about tangents and normals, but we'll get there soon. So here we go. We're going to find the equations of the tangents to y equals x squared from the external point 2 comma 3. What in the world does that mean? Yeah, I'm doing a lot of that. So we got y equals x squared, which you already know what that looks like. It looks something like this. And then you've got an external point 2 comma 3, which is right here. Okay, now it says find the equations of the tangents to that from that point. So it means it needs to go through this point and it needs to be tangent to my x squared. So you'll get one like this and you'll actually get another one that goes something like this. Okay, before the graph continues to curve and does something like this, right? And so you'll have another tangent out there. So, yeah, I know it doesn't really touch. Sorry. Again, my fat stylus. Deal with it. Anyway, here we go. So we can pot. That's why it says tangents, because you could possibly get more than one. All right. So how do we do that? Okay. Well, the easiest way to do that, I guess, is to say, well, let's find a point. Okay. Here is a point. That is an unknown point. That point is x comma y. Okay, now what is y? Well, y is x squared. So really this point is x comma, not y, I just did that, x comma x squared. All right? Now, if I were to write an equation for the red line there, this one that's now blue, then what would it look like? Well, it would be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay? Now, what points need to go in there? Well, I actually have two points, right? I've got this x comma x squared, which is any point on that line, but specifically that one. And then I've got this other point, 2 comma 3. Okay, so we're going to actually put both of those points in there. Okay? So my 1 will be this point, and my 2 will be that point. It could be the other way. It doesn't really matter, but that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to have y, which will be my x squared, minus y1, which is 3, equals m times x, right? And x is this one, which will be x, minus x1, which was 2. Okay, now I'm getting closer. I got an equation. I get rid of the y's. I still got the x's. That's fine. But I still got this m. Now, how am I going to find the slope of this line? Well, we know how to get the slope of that line. It's the derivative. y prime is equal to 2x, the derivative of the x squared. So whatever x value this is, the slope of that line, the slope of the tangent, will be 2 times that x value. And so that means the slope is 2x. So we can go ahead and put that in for the m. So we've kind of put everything together now. We've got x squared minus 3 equals the slope, which was 2x, times x minus 2. Now, that's different than what we did before, but really it's not different. It's the same thing. Right? It really is the same thing that we just did. We put in some points. We created a tangent line. Found the slope. The slope was 2x. It's just we got a lot more variables. All right? So let's go ahead and solve now. We're going to solve by distributing. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x equals x squared minus 3. We'll move the x squared over, move the 3 over, we'll have 0 equals 2x squared minus x squared will be x squared minus 4x, negative 3, move it over, will be plus 3. That will be easily factored. Yes, it will. Minus 3 and minus 1. So x equals 3 and x equals 1. Now, what was the question? Well, it wanted us to actually find equations of the tangents. So I'm going to use this y minus y1 and m times x minus x1. Okay, so it'll be y minus. Now, if I use this one first, the 3, then when x is 3, 
3 squared is 9. So y minus 9, or you know what? I've actually got a point right there. I can use that point, 2 comma 3. So I can just go y minus 3 equals, and then my slope, remember, is 2 times x. So if I put 3 in there, it'll be 2 times 3, which is 6 times x minus the x value at my point, which is 2. That'll be one equation. And the other equation needs to use the 1. So that'll be y minus 3. Again, I can use this same point, the 2 comma 3, because my line, my other line needs to go through that point 2, equals, and then I put the 1 in. So 2 times 1 is 2, times x minus, again, 2. And you'll notice that somewhat fits my drawing. I've got one that's a little less steep, one that's a little more steep. They're both going through that same point, which is why they both share the same point there. And that's pretty much the end of that question. Not all that bad, is it? Okay, so we built up from knowing nothing. Well, really, like I said at the beginning, you actually knew everything you needed to know. But we have built all the way up to being able to do some actually quite complex problems with tangents. All right? Hey, watch the last video. It's just about done.